What's going on guys? I'm Iggy Fresh and today I'm going to show you how to do a simple LSPDFR install. So there's a lot of uh, different tutorials online but they're all kind of lengthy and I wanted to do a kind of quick video on how to get this uh, up and running. It's actually not that bad. So what I actually use is um, I have the Steam GTA 5 and to locate it because you're going to need to modify this folder, the GTA 5 folder. To get there you need to go to your C drive, program files, Steam, Steam apps, common, Grand Theft Auto 5. So this is your main folder with all of the uh, main game files including the GTA 5 executable file. So what I did was I actually created a shortcut so basically going back once and just creating a, a shortcut of this and then you can just drop it to your desktop and then just rename it as Grand Theft Auto 5. So that's what I've done there. I'm just going to delete it. Um, and So this will allow you simple access to the folder. Uh, pretty easy. So that's, that's the first thing. Um, Next, you're going to want to go to lspdfr.com and download the latest LSPDFR first response. Uh, currently, they have, if you scroll down the page a little bit, it's going to be right here. Just click on it. You can also, uh, there's several ways to uh, get there. You can go to uh, downloads as well and click on LSPDFR. But essentially, it's going gonna, it's gonna to guide you to the same page. Uh, you, you're going to want to download the latest one, uh, which is going to be, currently it's uh, 0 0.3.1. So if you scroll down the page, just click on download this file. You're going to have to agree and download. After you do that, it's going to present you with different choices. Um, so the first two are automatic installers, and then the third one is the manual installer. Uh, that's the one that I use. I use the manual one just because I don't really trust the automatic ones and I want to make sure that I have all the files and you know I can do drag and drop by myself and overwrite files. It's really not that complicated. So you're going to want to download this bottom one here, LSPDFR 0.3.1 manual install. So once you click download, you're going to have to do the security check, submit, and download the file. I've already done that, so I'm not going to do that here. Next, you're going to want to go to RagePluginHook.net. And once you get here, um, this is, is kind of how you're going to launch the game, right? So this is very important. Once you get to uh, this website, you're going to want to click on Downloads. And you're going to want to download the, the latest uh, plugin hook, uh, which is currently uh, 0 0.36. So once you click on that, you're going to download this file. Um, I've already done that, so I'm not going to do it. But just for uh, um, to make this easy, I just download everything to the desktop for now. So I'm not going to do it because I already downloaded it. Once you do that, um, the next step would be to get the script hook 5. And I'm going to leave all the links in the description section below. But once you get here, you're basically going to want to download the latest script hook 5, which is going to be right over here. Um, don't do one, the one for developers, just download the regular one. Um, so click on it. Again, I'm not going to do it again because I already downloaded it, everything to my desktop. Um, but save it to your desktop and uh, that's that. Um, the next and kind of crucial things, and that's why I had some problems launching my games, is because I didn't have the Microsoft.NET framework installed. So that's very important. Um, the link is also going to be in the description. Um, but you're going to want to download this, and this is very simple. All you do is you click download. Once it downloads, you just run that application and it's going to install um, the framework for you. Um, same with 
the Visual C++ redistributable package for Visual Studio, you're going to want to download and run that as well. You might have it already installed and you may not need to do these last two. Um, the way to check that would be to go to your control panel, click on programs, and you can see um, these two are pretty much required, the visual C++ and the Microsoft.NET framework. But if you're not sure, it's always better to just install those two things because they are required to run this game. All right, so once we've done that, um, once we've downloaded and installed uh, that .NET framework, the C++ uh, redistributable files, you're going to want to open up your Grand Theft Auto 5 folder. And mine's a little bit modded, so it'll look uh, slightly different from the clean install. But basically, once you open it, um, you're going to want to go back to your desktop here. And the first thing you're going to want to install is the LSPDFR, the manual install that we downloaded. So just open it up, and you're going to want to highlight all of the files except for the licenses folder. We don't need the licenses folder. Um, I'm not sure why they included, but all you're going to want to do is highlight everything and just drag and drop into your Grand Theft Auto 5 folder. Now I'm not going to do that because I've already done it and my game's already patched, but that's all you should do. And theoretically, this alone should work but the only issue with that is um, the rage plugin hook gets updated regularly and what comes with lspdfr lspdfr comes with the rage plugin hook uh, but it might be outdated and that's why it's good to um, to make sure you download that rage plugin hook um, so after you copied all the files from LSPDFR, manual install to your Grand Theft Auto 5 folder. Next thing, just open up Rage Plugin Hook and highlight all of the files except for licenses, plugins, or the SDK folders. What you're going to want to do is drag and drop all of these files into your Grand Theft Auto 5 folder. Now it's going to ask you if you want to overwrite some of the files, just say yes. Um, because these are, you know these are the most updated uh, files. So once you do that, if you recall we downloaded the script hook 5, just open it up, go to the bin folder, and highlight these two files. So then put 8.dll and script hook 5.dll. You don't need to uh, copy over the native trainer. I don't use it and it's not required. Um, but these two files are. So again, drag and drop them into your Grand Theft Auto 5 folder. It might ask you to overwrite one of the files because I believe the then put 8 that DLL comes with LSPDFR. Um, so just say yes, because you know these are the most updated files. So once you've done all of this, you should have a working version of LSPDFR and most updated one. So it does come with certain callouts, um, not a lot, um, just the Base, the basic LSPDFR callouts. Um, I'm going to do another video on how to install different callouts, um, but in this video, it's, I just wanted to concentrate on getting the LSPDFR up and running. So, the next thing that I do, um, you're going to, to launch the game, to launch the game, you don't launch it through GTA 5 because that's going to launch the game, the regular game. You launch the game through Rage Plugin Hook. That's what actually launches the game. 
So what I've done was, I, again, I created a shortcut and dragged it to uh, my desktop. And you see it actually right here. I just renamed it to LSPDFR. So I'm going to delete this. But essentially, all you have to do is double click on this, and it'll launch the game. And we'll do just that. I'm going to show you exactly how it looks because when I first started, um, it, it was very confusing for me because something was wrong. Like I was missing the .NET framework and the C++ files. And it was not, it was loading into the menu of the game. So I want to just show you guys what to expect once you launch the game. Okay, so it's a basic intro, nothing, nothing different here. The key thing here is it does not go into your um, the main menu of the game where you can select the story mode or go online. Uh, it basically bypasses all of that and it goes straight into uh, uh, the story mode of the game where you can play LSPDFR. And if you see the loading story mode with the Rage plugin hook on the bottom right um, section of the screen, that means that you are on the right track and hopefully you've done everything correctly. Okay, next it's going to show you the Rage plugin hook 0.36 which we've downloaded and it'll put you right in story mode. So it bypasses the main menu uh, and that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, you see LSPDFR first response 0.3.1 successfully loaded and you should be good to go. Now if you click on, if you check the map of the game, you should see all of the police locations here. If you don't, that means you probably messed something up or forgot to do something. So please go back and follow the steps and you should have no problems launching this game. What you doing? So once you're here, you could drive to any of the locations, any of the police locations, or you could, whoa, watch out lady, or you could teleport. Um, to teleport, you could just click F4, and you can actually go to PD, that's one of the functions that teleports you to, to a downtown police station, so you don't have to drive and it just pops you right here. Or you could drive, like I said, you could drive to any of the police locations here. So this is where you go, you go to the locker rooms and you press E to go on duty. From here you select your guy, it doesn't matter, we're just gonna select this one here. And that's pretty much it. This will load um, LSPDFR, and you'll uh, you'll become a police officer. Pretty simple. You can hop in any of these police cars, or you could go to the garage right over here, and you could pick out any car that you want. Now, I'm going to have modded cars, so don't pay attention to that. You're going to have something a little bit different. You're going to have the basic cars that come with LSPDFR. So I do have modded cars and modded textures as well. Um, but essentially, you're going to have a Crown Vic um, and some, some of the other cars here. This, this car is not modified, so you'll have this. Um, I have a different motorcycle. Basically, I've modified most of these cars, but um, some I haven't touched. So, uh, basically, once you pick out the car that you want to patrol with, just click Next, and you'll be placed in the game. Mm -hmm. 
and that's pretty much it guys um, you can patrol the city of Los Santos um, if you play around you, you should hear uh, some of the call outs coming through from dispatch uh, there's not gonna be a lot um, with the simple LSPDFR install um, but this this pretty much covers the basic install so if you guys have any questions or if you have any problems installing the game please leave your comment in the comment section below and I'll try and respond and help you guys any way that I, that I can but hopefully this helped some of you guys install LSPDFR successfully and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos thanks guys take care